All right. Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to be working on drawing the cat in the hat. Here's a real quick little um, sketch that I just did before I did the video, just to practice a little bit before I gave you this tutorial. So today we're going to be listening and following along to make sure that we can follow directions and also use our shapes and our different types of lines to create the cat in the hat. Okay, Dr. Seuss's birthday is coming up. I think that it is celebrated on March 3rd, I believe, um, which is called Read Across America Day. And that is in honor of Dr. Seuss and all of his wonderful books that he has created and illustrated. So here is how to draw the cat in the hat. So we are going to make sure that our name, class code, let's put that up there, name, and you don't have to write your name like that, but you don't have to write the word name, but you just write your name, class code, and table, color. And then after you have done that, you're going to flip over your paper. So you have a nice big blank paper to work with, big blank canvas. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is right smack in the middle of our pick of our um, paper, maybe a tiny bit up. We're just going to draw a wide oval about the size of your thumb. So I'm going to put my thumb down. That's about the size of my thumb. Maybe a little bit bigger. That's okay. Not too big. Not too small. One at about the size of your thumb. Okay, and then on top of that, that's going to be his nose. On top of that, we're going to draw two taller ovals, skinnier ovals, and those are going to be his eyes. So he's looking a little bit to the side, and sometimes Dr. Seuss didn't color in all the way. He just like almost did like... You could tell that he drew with pencil or pen, and he didn't color it in all the way. So I'm just going to kind of do what he kind of did. And if you want to do total circles, that's fine too. After that, we're going to draw a very light curved line. And you see how my hand is kind of still, and I'm just going back and forth, so it makes a nice natural curved line. And that's going to be his hat. And then we're going to kind of bring it down so that it has kind of like the brim of a hat. Like the wide part. And then from there, we're going to make his forehead and kind of like the side of his face. It's going to be a curved line that comes down right about where his nose is. And it's almost like a weird looking three. So if you kind of make a three like this. And we're going to bump it out a little bit more for his mouth. We're going to come all the way around. And that is his smile. And then we'll do a little smile line like that. Right now would be a good time to pause um, to go around to see how everybody's doing. Help out where needed. I'll just pause right here with you. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is right next to his left eye, we're going to draw his ear, and his ear is going to go over. That's why I said draw lightly. We're going to do two curved lines kind of coming up like a triangle for his ear. And then we're going to do another one on the inside. We're going to erase these lines. And then we're going to kind of fill these in with little lines, crisscross lines, because that's going to be the inside of his ear. Okay. Now, he's got good expression to his face, and he's got kind of eyebrows that come like this. And sometimes you can even add a second little eyebrow on top. 
And Dr. Seuss loves his extra lines. Gives lots of detail, gives lots of texture. I'm gonna do the back of his head, which is gonna be kind of like, I'm gonna pretend like it's fur. So we're going down and then come back up again, down, come back up again. And then his lip, maybe right underneath where that, the, um, the indentation for the three is. Draw a little imaginary line and we'll go make a little lip. And then that will be his neck. That comes down. And he's going to have, you can kind of do like a rounded square for the knot in his tie. You're going to go out. And kind of a curve line up and out, curve line up and out. And then the, the bow is kind of like, we're going to curve in and then curve back out again. And the bottom part of the bow is a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. So this is kind of going to be like the, th the number three again, kind of. Maybe I want to make it a little bit boxier. There we go. We go ahead and pause it and go around and make sure that we're making some progress on our cat in the hat. Getting the bow ready. All right, we're back again. We're going to finish his his body. It's kind of like a, just a portrait of, of, of the cat in the hat. So we're going to go like this, make curved lines so you can see his, his shoulders. They're not, they don't come out quite as much as a, a human shoulders would, but kind of like this. And then, depending on how much room you have, on this one that I did, I ended up being a little bit higher up so I could do more of his body. He's kind of holding his hands, kind of clasped in front of him like that. If you have room for that, you can do that. So we're going to make an arm, and then we can kind of draw his, his, his hands or his fingers. I'm going to give him a little bit of an arm down here. And then I'll do the same thing, kind of, kind of thumb that back that way, and the thumb, then back this way. So there's just little hands. And then we'll finish up the top with the hat. I'm gonna bring this down so it looks kind of three-dimensional so you can tell that it's sitting on top of his head. And then my hat's gonna go up and up out of the picture, but that's okay. You want these two lines to be kind of curved, going a little bit forward like his hat does, and then you'll just make some stripes. And that's okay if it goes out of the picture. Okay, now we're gonna add some more details, some more lines, and this is called cross hatching or hatching. Hatching is when you just do one line to kind of add some detail so you can see the cat in the hat's fur. And then to make it even darker, you cross hatch. So you go across and you just it's just going to turn it a little bit darker. So it just makes him look like he's a little bit furrier. Okay. And we'll do that down here. And then I'll just regular, just hatching on that side so you can see some fur. Oh, I forgot the rest of his, his, um, his bow kind of goes like that. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do from here. Oh, he gets a couple little, little dots for where his whiskers can be. And then we'll make some whisk whiskers going out to the side. And if you wanted to, you can make a curvy line on the side for his tail. If you don't want to add his tail, that's okay. Maybe it's curled around him outside of the picture. And then I'm going to 
cross hatch to make it look like it's furry and nice and dark. Because the cat in the hat is kind of black and white, right? So when we add our Sharpie to this, then we will make him look a little bit more black and white. Okay. All right. So now it's time to outline everything with Sharpie. So you're going to try your best. Hopefully you didn't take too much time with those lines. You saw how quickly I did mine. The lines should be just done like really quickly with the, that cross hatching. And if it's not exact when you're going over it with your Sharpie, that's okay too. Just adds a little bit more dimension in your picture. Okay. So there's his tail. And you're just going to go over all of your lines. And it's okay. I know that some of these Sharpies, my Sharpie is starting to run out a little bit too. It's okay if your Sharpie is starting to run out. It doesn't have to be a full black line. I'm going to order some more Sharpies here soon. As long as it's dark enough that you can see, that's fine. Do you see how Dr. Seuss, he used those, that use of lines and it makes it look really cool. here and I didn't go over the lines by the hat to have his little expression go over top of that hat which they like he likes to do and again if you don't like the and they're almost like backward C's if you don't like the look of that if you want to do like solid eyes that's fine too Under the eyes. And this is our interpretation of the cat in the hat. So if it doesn't look exactly like mine, and I know mine doesn't look exactly like the original either, but that's okay. You can totally tell probably that I am drawing the cat in the hat, even if. He doesn't look exactly the same, right? Dr. Seuss has just inspired this artwork for us to do. Okay. So, when you finish that, I will put some pictures on the slideshow that you will be able to look at. I'm going to just add a little bit of lines in here for his nose. There you go. Um, I'm going to add some, some pictures in a slide after I finish doing this video. And you can, if you want to do more characters, like I believe Sally's in this, bit, in this um, book and the fish and thing one and thing two, if you're really getting, if you're really brave and want to um, do that then you can or you can just decorate the background in blue and red right now I do not have a blue crayon up in my office where I'm doing this so I'm just going to do red because the cat in the hat is black white and red right he's got red stripes on his hat but if you want to use blue they use kind of like a lighter blue or you can do regular royal blue um, for the background, you can do shapes, you can do different types of lines. I'm just going to do zigzag lines for my background. Um, I know that he needs a red bow tie. So again, your background can be as, in, um, as detailed as you want it to be, or you can be a little bit more simple, just drawing lines. And patterns but I would like you to stay with the red white and blue I think the fish is orange so you could do an orange fish if you wanted to but I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do zigzag stripes in the back, or zigzag lines in the back I'm just gonna try to 
keep it going the same way. And it does not have to be perfect. We're just giving him a little bit of a background. He's posing for this wonderful portrait. Here. And you don't have to, you don't, we don't have to watch the whole entire time of me going over my background, but, or you can just play the video as, as the substitute is going around to help out everybody. filling in the background so it gives some color and some excitement to it. So we are using Sharpie to go over the lines and then we're going to use crayon to go over the background. I gotta learn how to do the the YouTuber skills of fast forwarding and making things go faster so I can finish my background a little bit faster. I'm going fast though, as fast as I can to stay in the lines. And I think I'm pretty much done. So here's my cat in the hat. I think it probably would look better if I had some blue in there, but I'm working with what I've got right now. And you boys and girls can work with, with what you've got. All right, I hope you boys and girls enjoyed making the cat in the hat. I'm just gonna do a couple little fix ups. Make sure that I can see everything that I like to see on my cat in the hat. And I think we're good to go. I hope you had fun and I will talk to you boys and girls later. I can't wait to see your creation. See you soon.